Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Division Algorithm. So Division Algorithm, its hardware implementation and the flowchart I have discussed in the previous video. But here I am going to talk about one numerical, how to solve practically by using Division Algorithm of the sign magnitude data. Let us begin. See, this is what I have already discussed as I have told you. But you must remember that binary division is simpler than the decimal division. Why binary division is easier or simpler than the decimal division? Because here the quotient may be 1 or 0. And the simple division process, it includes comparison, shifting and subtraction operation. So the detailed flowchart I have discussed. But because here while solving a numerical, this is going to be helpful. So that is why I have drawn it over here. Now let us take this question. Here you have to compute this particular operation. This is what the division operation. There are some number in the numerator, some in the denominator. So what is going to happen? Here the dividend is what? A which is equal to numerator. This is 0, 1, 0. And the divisor which is B. That is what the denominator which is 1, 1, 0, 1. Let us calculate B bar plus 1 because during the like process we used to add this number. So let us directly cal calculate this number so that wherever required we can add it directly. So B bar is what? 0, 1, 0 and when you are adding 1 you will be getting 0, 4 times 1. Initially the content of A will be cleared. Q will also be 0. And the sequence counter is what? Sequence counter is 5 over here. The value of sequence counter is 5. So let us begin. Initial phase E is also 0. Because the content of E, whatever it will be available over there, that will be kept free erased. So it is 0. A is 0, 1, 0. Q is 0, 0, 0. And the sequence counter is 5. So now what is going to happen at the first step? Shift left EAQ, SHL EAQ. It means now shifting the content to the left. So what we are getting over here? Here you will be getting 0. This will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 0. This 0 will be shifted over here. So here it will be what? 0, 0, 0. These 4, 0 and 5th will always be 0. Because here no, nothing is available. Now, Check what is the value of E. So the value of E is what? The value of E is 0. Since the value of E is 0, so which operation you need to perform? A plus B bar plus 1. This is A. Now let us add B bar plus 1. B bar plus 1 is what? 0, 4 times 1. So let us add 0, 4 times 1. What you are getting over here? This is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now here 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 and the carry which is generated that is now 1 over here. See, so what is happening over here? Here you are getting the value of E which is 1 which is being generated. It means now you need to set Q not as a 1. It means here the value will be 0, 0, 0, 0. This particular bit is what? Q0. So this will be set as 1. And now the sequence counter will decrement by 1 means now it is 4. Right? So now again the process will be repeated. Sequence counter is decremented by 1. It is not 0 means the process will be repeated. Now perform shift left. Shift left operation. So here you will be getting 0. This will be what? 1, 0, double 1, 0. Here it will be 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0. After shift uh, left, again check what is the value of E. The value of E is 0. It means again we need to add B bar plus 1. B bar plus 1 is what? 0, 4 times 1. So, while performing addition, you are getting this is 1, this is 0, this is 1, 1, 1. 0, this is 1, 1, 0. Again, carry is being generated. Since carry is being generated, it means now you need to fix this particular bit as a 1, Q not as a 1. The same step, E is 1. So, it means now the value of Q will be what? 0, 0, 0. It will be 1, 
1 and then the sequence counter will again decrement by 1. So now it is 3 sequence counter. At the next step what you have performed a plus b bar plus 1 and then you have checked this particular value. Now in the next step again perform shift operation shift left. So, when you are performing shift left, this bit will be at this particular place. This will be 0. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. From here, this 0 will be replaced. This bit, right? So, this is what 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And here it will be double 0, double 1. And at the last, 0 will be introduced. After the shift left, again check what is the value of E. The value of E is 0. It means again we need to add B bar plus 1 in a, this is A and B bar plus 1 is 0, 4 times 1. Add it, what you are getting, this is 1, this is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, here triple 1 is 1, this is 1. Since E is 0, means the number A is less than B, it means again you have to add B into this. So add B means now you are performing A plus B operation. So, add B over here. What is B? The value of B is 1, triple 0, 1. So, when you are adding this B, what you are getting? This is 0, this is 1, 0, 1, this is 0. And the value of E will be generated which is as 1. And what is Q? Q will be same 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Again, sequence counter will decrement by 1 means now it is 2. Again, Perform shift lift, right? So, perform shift lift. What you are getting? Here, you will be getting 0. This will be 1, 0, 1, 0. And this 0 will be shifted to this place. This will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Right? So, this shift operation is being performed. The content of E is 0 means you have to add B bar plus 1 into this. What is B bar plus 1? That is 0. 4 times add 1. Add this is 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And carry 1 will be generated. Since carry 1 is being generated, again you need to set Q0 as a 1. Means this will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now sequence counter will decrement by 1 and it will be 1 now. What will happen in the next step? Again, perform shift left operation. Shift left means this will be 0. This will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is what 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And since the value of E is 0 means what is going to be happen? B bar plus 1, you need to add it over here. B bar plus 1, you have to add in A. And B bar plus 1 is 0, 4 times 1. Just add it. This is 1. This is 0. This is 1. This is 0. And this is 1. Right? So, what you have got? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And since the value of E is 0, it means again you have to add B into this particular number. Right? So, when you are adding B, B is what? 1, triple zero one add it what you are getting over here so when you are adding uh, b in a so the resultant you are getting this is one plus one is zero this is one this is one zero right and this is one plus one is zero and here carry one is being generated since carry one is being generated and uh, yes you have performed a plus b the value of Q will be as it is, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Sequence counter will decrement by 1. Means now this will be the end of operation. So what you are getting over here? Here you are getting the value which is the result remainder. This is what the remainder is. And this is what the quotient is. So what you are getting? Remainder you are getting 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And quotient you have got 11010. This is what the final result is. So I hope now it must be clear to you how to perform this particular operation 
and how the result is going to be stored. So when you are saying E A Q, the value which is available in E that is one, right? So this is the end of the operation. Thank you so much for watching this video.